Hello, my name's Tom Green, and I'm going to spend a few minutes today looking at the uh, dissecting microscopes that we use in our field trips in the spring. We have two different types of dissecting scopes at the center, and I'll go over each one, but they're basically very similar. The first one we're going to go over is this American Optics one. This is a really great standby. This is the stage. This is where we'll put our little uh, container with water. And we're going to be mainly, in our case, looking at zooplankton before we put them on the compound scopes. It has two lights. You have a light that shines from below. And you have a light that shines from above. Depending on what you're actually looking at, in many cases you'll want to use both lights or in some cases just the one from above or the one from below. Then you have, these are called binocular microscopes, and they have adjustable eyepieces, so everybody's eyes are a little bit different. So for me, you can move those so you can look through both of your eyes at the same time. Then you have, on the side here, you have your focus. So what you would want to do is then focus down on the specimens that you're looking at. And in the case, if you have a fair amount of water in your container, you'll have to go up and down because it basically is taking a slice or a layer. You also have the ability to change the magnification. On this one, the magnification goes from 15 to 30 power or in this case it was actually 13, 30 to 15. And you always want to start on the lowest power and then go to the highest. And this is a real simple system. It locks and then you'll be able to see. Okay, I'm gonna turn the light off. Now the other microscope here, which I'm not sure the brand, it's a Wolf. It has also a top and a bottom light. But what you have to do is you have to put the switch on the main and you have to have that on. And then you go over here and this light is going from the top as you can see. And then you have a light from the bottom. Again, just like the last one, you may need both lights or one, whatever makes you see the best. Also, it's binocular, so you get under, you put it so you can see through here. And then your focus is these knobs until you can see that very clearly. Just as the last one, you have, you have the ability to change the magnification. In this case, you have a wheel. This will go from 20 power to 40. So it's a little different than the 15 and 30. So again, you want to focus. Make sure you can see very clearly with both eyes and you want to get up there close enough so that you can see very good and then you focus. Anytime you change the magnification, make sure it locks. And that's really all there is to do it. So hopefully everybody enjoys it.